today I'm going to be telling you about how the Norse god of thunder, that Thorium, has managed to tame Phosphorus, the devil's element. And this is work which we've carried out and published by Elizabeth Wildman, who is one of my PhD students. I've got two solutions here of um, thorium phosphorus containing compounds. Um, these compounds were made in the University of Manchester in this lab and they're quite uncommon linkages in chemistry. So they're first of their kind. To look at thorium in nuclear fuel, it's important to know what it reacts with and how both for cleaning up nuclear fuel waste and also if you're going to bury it underground, it's important to know if it's going to react with its containers or anything in the soil. So we've been making different compounds with unusual bonds in so we can have a look at the way they react together with other things and just how stable these compounds are. There are some views that one way to perhaps reduce the volume of nuclear waste is to remove the fairly benign and not very bad stuff from the really very radioactive material that comes out. Previously we've looked at how uranium interacts with phosphorus, but that on its own is not really that useful. You have to then compare it to the thorium analogues, which meant we had to go make them. The facilities at Manchester mean we have access to the very sensitive compounds that go into this, and we have glove boxes and shank lines that mean we can exclude air from all of our reactions to make sure that these compounds don't go off in the process and that we can isolate them cleanly and have a real look at them. So it's quite a complicated molecule, it's quite big for a lot of molecular species and what you see is at the back there is a, a blue nitrogen atom and then it's got three arms which come off and they wrap around the thorium atom. When you look at it from above, what you can see here is what I'm representing as the phosphorus atom is sitting in this very tight pocket. There's nothing else that can get in there and that's really important for controlling that environment. Manchester has a really strong tradition of looking at chemical theory of bonding. Uh, we've got people who've pioneered the discovery of the proton, the neutron, the electron, developed atomic theory, understanding how elements combine together in the theory of chemical valence. And these are all really important things because they underpin how elements bind together and how we understand that. So now we've got these compounds in hand, we can have a look at the way they react with various different things. We can do it under air, do different sorts of spectroscopy and tests to see the properties of them so that eventually we can build a library of information just the way that thorium will react with things after nuclear waste and clean up and after the process has happened with the metal. Thank you.